Welcome back everybody, and like I said at the end of the last video, I've actually found a clue, so I could start the video. Alright, where? Oh, i found multiple clues, it seems. Shit, that moves. Nope, that wasn't a clue, never mind. Luckily I found that one. Uh, I thought that was a clue, because it had the weird sign on it. Uh, Magnifying glass or whatever. Ah, those demon birds are back. This is it. Which way? Ah, I said the bike was a clue. Is that yourself with the dragon? Well, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? This is going to be fun. Nero Beacon. Okay, where is it? Ah, hello. Oh, another one of those uh, micro recorders. Oh, yeah, one of our things you read. We're at the designated site 301, Dead Coyote Lava Cave. Ironically named since we're here inspecting the remains of a genus of Lucas Mutants. Runners, as the locals like to call them. Hey, I've been meaning to ask one of you guys. Guys. Yeah, you know, in the research division. Um, how'd the virus, you know, jump? You mean, how did it jump? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we seen it in cats, dogs, birds, these wolves. I, I didn't think it was possible. You know what viral, zoonotic, neuroinvasive disease is, Corporal? Mm -hmm. No, don't have a clue. Think rabies. Just like the hooligan virus. Rabies spreads through contact with fluids. Saliva, blood... Injector. Yeah, and while shit. it primarily infects mammals, lab cultures have shown that it can also infect birds, reptiles, even insects. Do you know how many mammals there are in the world? Hmm. A lot, I'm guessing. <laughs> yes, a lot. Five thousand four hundred and eighty-eight, to be exact, depending on who you ask. All of which: cats, rabbits, dogs, horses, skunks, possums, foxes, monkeys, groundhogs, and yes, wolves. <laughs> can be infected and can spread the virus. Jesus. What's it mean? For us, I mean. Look at the musculature on this subject. The swollen and distended superglenoid tubercle. The ulnar and radial tuberocytes. A normal wolf. Could run 31 to 37 miles per hour. This guy? He could top out at 60. Oh. Sure the tire off of <laughs> what it means for us, Glad that most mammals are going extinct. Better them than us. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, come on, what am I supposed to do? Weirdly enough, it's like the big brutes and these guys are the worst creatures in the game. 
like by far because these guys are just bullet sponges like, I swear I hit most of them in the head but I think it's only like a really small part of the face is an insta kill for some reason I don't, I don't even know if it's that I think uh, I'd have no idea what the developers were thinking when they made these creatures but I assume they're just in the game to annoy the player Oh, for God's sake. Oh, come on. Yeah, that and like two or three hits. I imagine if even if I went through all the Nero checkpoints, it wouldn't be that much. I wouldn't be able to take that much damage from them. Because it looks like they do more damage than the average wolf. Alright, let's do that again. This is going to get old. Even when you, it gets, even when you're hitting them, they can still hit you. Like they just recover a lot quicker as well than Deacon does. Because I think this is like an annoying. If I remember correctly, this is quite can be quite annoying on normal difficulty. But uh, I'm sure they increase damage on survival mode, I think. Ah, shit. Uh, that's one. I'm sure there's another one coming along soon. More bounties. I don't... Ooh. Ah, yeah, this is really annoying me now. Really pissing me off. I think it's because like I can't... It's just one as well. This is just... Like, I'm getting two through, but I know there's like four or five of them in there. Yeah, I might have to use the Molotov. It's, that's the thing, I, I don't want to use the... I don't want to waste the Molotov either. Uh, this is going to be... One of those occasions where I only get through by like the grace of God. No plan's gonna help me through this. Two done. That's pretty cool. Ten percent though. Ah, oh, and I got nothing. Uh, yeah, it's two down. Um, maybe another two left. Definitely one.
Was that it? Nope. Four down. There's got to be another one in there somewhere. Okay, can't get through there. Okay. Come on. Okay, I'm not going to win this one. Hey, I did, what do you know? Yeah, that mace came in handy. You game. Ranger, damn it. I ain't fighting nothing. I can sneak around. No way, no how. I think I'd make it through that cave, but I did. Hey, sniper! Oh, yeah. One thing after another. It really is just one thing after another. I'm sure there's another guy. Okay, apparently not. I'm taking the axe. I'll take that. Feels nice to be reacquainted with a weapon. The axe, that is. Uh, right, we go. Hopefully, no one else jumps me on the way back to whatever the hell that camp's called.
So as far as ambushes go, that's probably the quickest one I've dealt with. Like, I think I literally spent... I must have fired like four shots with four people. So that's pretty good. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. It's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. Keeping souvenirs. Diamond Lake. Level 1, cool. Uh, bounty under 47%. Yay, you got 3,000. I can go back now and buy a new ah, gas tank. C Corporal St. John. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. E yeah, for, f from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, uh, w west of Crater Lake. The wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? Oh, you're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary, at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh, g gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay, yep. Yep. All right. Um, Corporal, restock ammo. So how long were you in the service? I mean, yeah, I missed the swearing in, but I can always tell when someone served. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, four years, 10th Army, Afghanistan. Like I told the Colonel, I hated every goddamn minute of it. How about you? Yeah, <laughs> you got the eye for it too, huh? <laughs> Me? No. Nothing so grandiose like you. National Guard, eight years. I actually kind of loved it, you know, pushing pencils and Salem and, and playing soldier on the weekends. But you're the real deal. Huh? We all did our part. Yeah, we did it back. Corporal St. John, you stay. Uh, may as well go and see the thing for Wheeler, I suppose. St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that draw trap. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will tell you that. But I am. <laughs> God damn it. Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. And me seven? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, <laughs> the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there was this, this group of, of men ended up at this ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? <laughs> I didn't know that. <sighs> Taylor. This is a sweet 
that set up too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, God damn it. This stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kits. You're gonna need one. That should be it. An ore testing kit. Copy that. Uh, the center bar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. Gonna be hard <laughs> to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? <laughs> Maybe one of these uh, shacks. <sighs> Not that in here. Fuel can. Uh, I need a testing kit. I don't need fuel. Here we go. Ore testing kit. Yeah. Not what I thought I'd be doing. Testing ore, but okay. Thought I'd just pick up- I don't want to go back. Uh, I thought I'd just pick up the stuff when I go in the mine. <laughs> back out I go. Can use this. Well, I was really hoping I wouldn't end up in another mine. Okay, okay. What did he say? Red Rock, Dull Luster, Cinnabar. Yeah. Nice. This will work. I really don't like those sounds. Here it is. That's not the last of them, I can still hear a bunch. Pretty close by too. Good. Green lights, green lights are good. That helped clear out everything pretty well. And now I just gotta test. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll go. Alright, I gotta look around and find some more. Yeah, that's it. Water's going down. Gotta finish collecting this ore. I can't tell if there's ore near here. Or not.
Hey, hello. Yep, just pure enough. Cool, halfway to there, so there's probably one I'm not seeing. Come on, come on. I collect anything here? No. Here we go. Ah, there so you go. Far. And now I just gotta test it. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll do. One do or it. two more samples is all I need. So it's like it's just by luck that every sample I collect seems to be okay. Where's the ones left? There's one left somewhere. Elevator shaft. Oh god damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. We can leave the mine the way we came in, can't we? Nothing's stopping us. Ah, what's up here? Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John, good, good. I'm almost ready for it. Oh, oh, hold on a second. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of isopropyl alcohol. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger. Fuck off. St. John. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the horse so as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Leave her out. Damn screamer. Let's head back to Wizard Island and see what have the missions pop up, I guess. Okay, I can't really quite remember this part of the game that well, so no idea what's gonna happen next.
Get St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain, uh, Research Division, uh, I guess you can call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be. I'm just sort of their errand boy for now. Actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I can find it. Good luck, Corporal. Hurry out. Okay, let's go find yeast. I'll set out straight after I see Weaver. Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. yeah this is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? Man, I thought you were gonna leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Corporal. That'll be all. Is this waypoint taking me in one big circle? So I could have just done a U-turn back there and gone across the bridge. But I swear this way is just taking me in a big... Yeah, it is. Is it? No, it's not. I don't think so. No, it's not. Ah, so there are two ways off that island. I usually just use that one main bridge on the other side. I, uh, I, I see these things, just a little bit too s too late to do anything about them. Not this time! Last one! I don't even know who you are. Do you see this person? Does anyone see this person? Oh, hello. Finally, 
Uh, it was nice meeting you fine folks. Let's get out of here. And repair my damn bike again. I don't know why it takes so much damage. I mean, I was the one who got clotheslined. The bike was fine. I don't know why, like, you know, it goes back to zero health whenever I get knocked off it. Is it visitor center? It's gotta be in. <sighs> oh, hello. Some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, it's gotta be in the kitchen. Now, in fairness, I mean, I suppose going to the Nero checkpoints does provide some benefit. Uh, stamina, mostly. To avoid situations like that. Uh, okay. Ready to do some screaming. Repair the bike. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe if I just keep running into them with the bike. I try, try, uh, hmm. I need scrap. Scrap. Yeah, maybe if I just keep driving into them with a bike, possibly, that'll do damage to the bike, sure. But I won't have to sort of engage them on foot. Which seems to be my main problem. Okay. Never mind, can't do that. Ah, oh, I'm not looking forward to this fight. Not unless I can climb up on something, maybe. Like the bus. But then stopping them from just climbing up after me, you know? Yeah, scrap. Ah. Uh, mess, but I could sneak in. Not really one for stealth, if I can help it, but. It would be. Fighting those things in a straight up fight, I suppose. Uh, okay, let's see what I can do. Shit, engine crapped out. They see me.
No, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah, oh, you prick. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's gonna... Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, because you can't really climb in this. You can't climb on rocks or whatnot. There's a visitor sit there. That's gotta be it. No, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, it's gotta be in the kitchen. Oh, shit. Breakers. Yeah, it'd be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? No kitchen here. Which is weird because it kind of looks like a kitchen. This is kind of terrifying. Run from east yet. How big is this search area? No, it's just this building. But I haven't found east yet, so I have no idea where, I'm, where I can look for it. And those breaker things, they're right nearby. Oh, there's one right there, shit. Come on, I don't want to be seen. Hurry up. Got it. Okay. Uh... Hello. Here it is. Yes. I hope this is enough. Just need it out of you now. Somehow. Okay, I'll follow behind him. Nope, never mind, he's coming back. No, he, he actually is coming back. Shit, alright. Huh. 
run like hell. I, I can deal with these guys. Fuck these guys. St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Reporting in. Deacon. Uh, <coughs> Corporal St. John, yes. Yeah. Got the item on your requisition form. The yeast. There wasn't much. Alright, sure now the other one's wise. Have is gonna be fine. So, um, just curious. Uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker out. Okay. Oh! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. No, not now. Really? Oh, you bitch. And the bike's probably fucked too. I hope not. Get on the bike, get on the bike, get on the bike, get on the bike. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Superb. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for stay. All right, I know things are strange. I'll be leveling up here in no time. I'm never giving up. Skill tier 5, unlocked. No, no. Send them over there. Thank you. Go 
Corporal St. John. This is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. A burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want oh, my infection? Good. You come see me. That's an order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. All right. I'm going to end this video here. Call it a day. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. St. John. Oh, wait. Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, great. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Well, that's something to look forward to. See you next time.